today i will be explaining a few concepts of the topics squares and square roots from standard 8 dear students let's begin with what we know look at the geometrical shape shown in this slide can you recognize it yes obviously it is a square you know what a square is i think you all know what a square is suppose the square we have taken here be of 5 units now look at the second part or the second square we have shown here in this square we have drawn five columns and five rows at a distance of one unit horizontally and vertically how many small divisions did we get we got 25 small square divisions we can say that 5 into 5 that is equal to 25 small square units it can also be read as 5 square equal to 25 here we have reached to the first concept of our chapter squares and square roots now students let's define what do we mean by square numbers square numbers are those numbers which are obtained when a number is multiplied by itself for example we can say that 16 is the square of 4 because 4 multiplied by 4 gives you 60 in the same way 25 is the square of 5 students let's go through the squares of first line natural numbers 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 5 square is 25 6 square is 36 7 square is 49 8 square is 64 9 square is 81 10 square is 10 into 10 equal to 100 students note here that 10 square is ending with two zeros students see that the numbers we got after multiplying an integer with itself like 1 4 9 16 25 49 64 81 100 etc are known as perfect squares that means perfect square numbers are numbers which are squares of integers now look at the table given below in the previous slide we have shown the perfect squares from 1 to 10 now you might have noticed that 1 square and 9 square end with 1 2 square and 8 square end with 4 3 square and 7 square end with 9 4 square and 6 square end with 6 5 square end with 5 and 10 square end with 0 0 so we can conclude here that the perfect square numbers do not end with 2 3 7 and 8 now dear students let's have an activity take a square ruled page and write 1 to 100 in a 10 into 10 grid encircle the perfect square numbers and then study the data and bring out the facts yes dear students i am ready with my activity i hope you all might have also done this dear students let's see what facts have we discovered from the above activity we have seen that the squares of even numbers are even for example 2 square is 
and 4 square is 16. The squares of odd numbers are odd. For example, 1 square is 1 and 3 square is 9. Numbers ending with 2, 3, 7 and 8 cannot be perfect squares. The perfect squares end with 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. The perfect squares end with even number of zeros. If the integer taken for squaring end with zeros. Dear students, let us try to discover some more important facts. You can see that between 1 square and 2 square, we have two non-perfect square numbers that is 2 and 3. In the same way, between 2 square and 3 square, that means between 4 and 9, we have four non-perfect square numbers that is 5, 6, 7 and 8. Similarly, between 3 square and 4 square, we have 6 non-perfect square numbers. Between 4 square and 5 square, we have 8 non-perfect square numbers. If you properly see the above facts, you will come to know that between 2 consecutive square numbers, let us say between n square and n plus 1 square, we have 2n non-perfect square numbers. For example, if we want to know how many non-perfect square numbers lie between 3 square and 4 square, it will be 2 into 3 that is equal to 6 non-perfect square numbers. Students, now solve the given questions in this assignment to evaluate yourselves whether you are able to fix all the concepts and scales taught in this chapter.